Hey guys, it's Bunnies and welcome back to another video. So today I have something really, really special for you guys because it's really, really special to me. So today I got a 15 inch Mac Book Pro. So today is my aunt's two year anniversary and for anniversary, aunt got me a 15 inch Mac Book Pro. Um, and honestly, it is the coolest thing ever. It's one of the best gifts I think I've ever gotten. It is so exciting. I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. So if you guys want to check out my reaction to it and Aunt basically surprise me with it, uh, Aunt's link for the vlog channel, channel will be linked down below, youtube.com slash more A9 skills vlogs, more A9 skills vlogs. <laughs> so I hope you guys like today's video. If you do, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that sub button with your bye boys. These amazing 15 inch MacBook Pro and I'm so excited to unbox it. So I currently have a MacBook Pro already, but it is, it is a 2009 model old, really old MacBook Pro that I've been using recently to edit my YouTube videos because I'm using Final Cut Pro. And um, Ant saw that I was struggling and my laptop was kind of struggling. So for our anniversary gift, he decided to get me a new MacBook Pro, which I can't even believe this. This is so exciting. And uh, yeah, so I have a new computer to edit my YouTube videos on and work on and I'm so excited. So uh, let's jump right into opening this thing and I'm so excited. So basically what I'm do with my old MacBook, it's giving me to Aunt's mom. So I'm so excited to do that. So let's jump right in to opening this beautiful MacBook Pro. And I'm gonna read you guys the specs of this MacBook Pro. Let's read the specs. So it is a 15 inch and I got it in space gray. It is a 16 gigabyte, which is the most or one of the most I think that you can get for that. And then it has Intel HD graphics 630, 2.9 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7. Uh, which I'm super super excited about it does have the touch bar and touch ID uh, Which is pretty exciting. I'm just going to open it and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like So let's start opening it <gasps> I don't know why I always hate opening Every time I open a Mac product, I literally always cut around the edges uh, I don't know why I do that. I just I just do it. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, so let's open this right up. The beautiful plastic off of it. <sighs> okay. Alright, so I want you guys to be able to see it, so I'm gonna kind of prop it up on my knees. Use my knees as a table. Oh god, please help me. Please help me with this unboxing. Okay. <gasps> There it is, right when you take off the top, you see it is covered, which thank God, because I probably would have scratched it up, or oh, it's such a nice color. This isn't the like traditional or original silver color, which is what my 2009 MacBook is. So this will be nice. Me and Aunt do have different color MacBooks, and look how teeny this is. This thing is a baby, especially compared to their 2009 model. Uh, it is a it is a book compared to this. That thing I would say is at least this is half of what the, my 2009 MacBook is. Light, like it is so lightweight. It's absolutely amazing, especially for being 15 inches. It's just it's so. Oh, it definitely it still feels really really sturdy as a whole, but it is just so light. I'm just like. So they do give it like a full protective case on it, which I think is amazing. For me, I'm kind of weird when it comes to like my MAC products. I do like to try to keep them as mint condition as I can. I know that sounds so silly. So I'll probably end up going and getting something for my, like the topping of it so that I don't get anything on it. It doesn't get dirty or really scratched up because MAC products can get like scratched up a bit. So let's take this off. Oh, and that's pretty cool. Here it is. The light is kind of, sorry about the lighting, but there it is. It is the dark, it's so pretty. I love it. And this is the back, obviously. <laughs> and we're gonna open it up and you guys are gonna see what it looks like. The protective case, or the, per hey. The protective sheet of paper. Oh, it just turned on, that's awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys the touch bar, which is right here. Here's the touch bar 
which uh, is really, really cool. I played with Ant's Touch Bar a bit. Uh, not too much, because again, Ant has the exact same computer. We have the same thing. He has the top of the line. Uh, we just have different colors now. So, the main language. Press the return key. So here's what it looks like. You can see it comes on immediately. If you've ever had a MacBook Pro, like my 2009 model, uh, it does have the buttons at the top where you can press like the brightness and whatnot and turn it up and down, adjust the volume through the top, which looks very, very similar to this. But the top does change. The touch bar does change, which I think is so exciting. Uh, so like if you're watching something or if you're editing, it actually changes to what you're doing, if that makes sense at all. So like, if you're editing, you can use the touch bar to help you edit like a video or Photoshop. It's really cool what you can do with this touch bar. It adjusts, it doesn't stay the same, so it's not always on like volume, brightness, anything like that. It does change, which I think is like one of the coolest things about it. And it does have the massive mouse, which I think is so just nice. I just, oh. I'm such, I'm such a, like a fangirl. I just think Mac is so pretty, so well put together. And so I already have fingerprints on it, like barely. <laughs> but see, this is what I'm talking about when I say I want to get something to cover it uh, because the fingerprints, I don't know, for some reason fingerprints on my stuff, I don't like it. I feel like it looks dirty and it makes me feel dirty or something like that. So anyways, I do want to know, however, do you see these? There is no USB, there is no... SD, anything like that on this MacBook Pro, the new ones, you do need a adapter. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is one that is from Apple, which does have the USB, the HDMI, um, and the USB-C. Uh, in it, there is still no S uh, SD card reader, which my 2009 model does come with an SD card reader. This one, this one does not. It comes with absolutely nothing. It's literally only the new Mac plugins, that's it. And then there is a headphone jack, which pretty cool, I guess. I'm happy that it comes with a headphone jack at least. So you will need to buy an adapter. Uh, this one was $69. And again, this is from the Mac store. You can probably get it at Best Buy as well, I'm, I'm assuming, or something like that. Uh, but this was $69 and it doesn't come with a, a, a an SD card reader, which is kind of mind-blowing a bit. I know some people are gonna be so turned off by that. I'm not gonna lie. I was definitely turned off by that uh, because again, you're buying 69, which might not be a lot of money to some people, but $69 on top of a $2,600 computer, which is how much this bad boy is, um, is freaking crazy. So this was the original one that Ant bought for himself. He didn't end up using it because again, he didn't realize there was not an S or SD card reader in it. So he had to go to Best Buy and buy Best Buy and Buy. He had to go to Best Buy and buy an adapter that did have an SD card reader in it, which ended up being about $100. So it was all this plus an SD card reader. But I would say those are the only downfalls for me. So we're going to put this right here, right next to us. And then in the box, I don't know why I'm such a, like, a crazy person when it comes to boxes. We have the beautiful, <laughs> just the plugs. That's it. Let's take it out. And I love how minimalistic everything is. It's like as clean as it can get, basically. Here we go, here's the plugs. Here's what it looks like. Here's the cord, it's definitely a small cord. It's not anything super crazy, um, but it's not, it's about my arm span. <laughs> I'm, I'm five foot, so there you go. And we get, we get our, our instructions. How to set, set up your MacBook stuff. Oh, stickers! Yes, stickers! I don't know why I never use these. I never put these on anything, but the stickers just make me so happy. It's like you pay $2,600 for a computer and you're like, stickers, yay! And then here is the base for the charger, the charging base, which again is wrapped in that really nice just cover to make sure that it doesn't get all funky and ugly. And the charging base looks exactly the same for the most part, except obviously that, which is what the plug plugs into. It looks the same as the 2009 or I would say almost any other model that I've seen. It comes apart just like this and you can't get an extender. Uh, at least you used to be able to get an extension. Um, so if you needed something longer, it was like an extra cord that came with this and it would like extend it was like a little mini extension cord for your chargers. However, this is actually pretty cool. This is, I would say, a difference. I don't know if you guys can see it. There is a, there's an apple right here, 
but it's the apple is like it's almost like a soft touch. It's like really weird. It's not the sleek feeling. So I don't know if this lights up. I'm actually really curious to see if maybe this lights up when you're plugging it in. If it's, I don't know if that's like an indicator that it's working and actually charging. I'm not sure. I could just be looking too much into it. It could just be a really, really nice little aesthetic they got going on. What's in the box? What's in the box? That is probably the ugliest face I could have ever made. And that's it, that's all that's in the box. There's nothing more to unbox for this unboxing. We unboxed it. Woo. I'll just show you guys me plugging the plug-in. <laughs> what? So here goes the plug. This is boop, just like that. And then you just go how to plug a computer in 101. You stick the male into the female. But I'm bum. That's actually a thing. At least that's what somebody told me. I don't know if that's true, but apparently that's an actual thing. So yeah, so here it is. Here's our beautiful new MacBook Pro that I will now be editing all of the YouTube videos on, which I'm so excited. Honestly, I couldn't be more excited. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that sub button with your bunny paw. Also, don't forget, do you guys want to see my reaction to getting this for my anniversary gift? Be sure to go down to my aunt's vlog channel, Right down below, it is youtube.com slash vlogs. He changed his name, that's why I kind of had a brain fart earlier. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. 